earth is special. It has an abundance of emotional energy. They're suggesting we monitor it more. Okay. On that purpose. To help understand the emotional energy. Because mm -hmm. once we understand it, we can also help the earth use the energy wisely. Mm -hmm. We are always facilitating change through wisdom mm -hmm. that we gather from knowledge. But Earth they're not controlling through wisdom the energy like we control energy. How are they controlling the energy? They are not controlling energy. Oh. They're releasing energy, using energy without wisdom. So what, what does that do? It affects everything around them. Mm -hmm. So what would be a good change? Change is already happening. Tell me more about that. There are other races besides ourselves who are also doing the same work. They're also helping facilitate change. There are many different forms. And many with the same goal, with the same intentions. Mm -hmm. They send out thoughts, and those who can pick it up mm -hmm. and understand, they gain wisdom. Mm -hmm. We share knowledge, but not everyone and convert the knowledge to wisdom. That's why so many can have knowledge but not know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Are there a lot of people on Earth right now that are able to convert and understand? And there are a lot. Mm -hmm. And how is that affecting the whole, the human collective consciousness? The actions of the people is knowledge. What you see is knowledge. It's up to you to gain wisdom from that knowledge. How you interpret is a clue to whether you are gaining wisdom or not. And how are we doing at this time? It is always good. Mm -hmm. Change is always good. We do not see negativity. We see change and we see that as good. Yes. And this change that you're talking about, 
how is the change gonna affect the people on earth and in the planet mother earth the change is relevant for the time that it occurs mm -hmm. there is always a sequence that must play out not in trouble mm -hmm. the people are not in trouble the people are wanting change but they don't know what change is so in from your perspective what is the change change is being able to see with more clarity instead of just what is in front of their nose. Mm -hmm. the change comes when they stop thinking in old ways. And expecting the old ways to equal change. How can change be the old way? There must always be a new way. And if it's a new way, mm -hmm. you will not recognize it because it's new. So what would be an example of a new way? A new way? to see that you are not separate. Many people wake up thinking they are separate. That's why they continue to live their lives the same way every day. Mm -hmm. The new way to see what you do affects everything and everyone and every time and every moment and therefore you recognize you are the planet yes. so we have to learn to become more aware there's no have to. Mm -hmm. You just do. Mm. Everybody does what they're supposed to do. Yes. And you said that you're influencing the humans with your thoughts. Our influence comes from a desire to see everyone recognizing the connections mm -hmm. just as those animals who are killing each other to survive do not recognize their connection to one another mm. even in their death they are connected because one cannot survive without the other but they don't recognize that. We try to show them that connection. But that's a simple example. Yes. In this example, everything is connected. Yes. And therefore, there is nothing to fear. Yes. And one piece 
people become more aware that everything is connected what is the change that you see the change is everyone being able to live like us where we control our own thoughts, where we control our emotions mm -hmm. and harness that energy to manipulate, to create what we want. What we want is to see the unity of all reality of all creation, of all existence. Yeah. Knowing that everything is a process, do you know how far in the future people are going to change? They're going to realize that we're all one. There is no time. You're already one. Yes. The question is, when will you perceive it? Yeah. We are looking at moments in time. And each moment has its own existence. Mm-hmm. Your perception of the moment may seem to show a disconnection, but that is that moment. Yeah. When will you see the connection? That is up to you. Mm -hmm. you're, as I said, you're already all connected, yeah. but you are creating the disconnection through your perceptions. What advice do you have for humanity at this time then? There is no advice needed. Mm -hmm. Even if we told you what to do, would you do it? What are we? We are a reflection of you. Yes. So if you need me to tell you, then you should answer yourself. What is your relationship with Simon? I am another life. Yes. I am another existence. I am another incarnation. And Simon being on this time, on earth right now, what is his mission? The same as mine. To think of change. Okay. To help facilitate change. Hmm. How is he doing? He's doing great. He doesn't realize how many people have changed mm. around him. Even when he spoke of his family and his relationships, they represent change. Yes. The problem is we judge that change as being good or bad. Change is not about being good or bad. Mm -hmm. Change allows for more choice, more experience allows for more understanding.
good and bad. They are the end result of perception. Did he sign up to be at this time on earth right now with a with that purpose to bring in change? Mm -hmm. Everyone signed up, so to speak. Yeah. Intentions are all different for everybody, but for everyone. We're all seeking change. It's when you stop trying to change or you're resisting the change because in your perception you don't like it. Mm -hmm. That's when you create blocks. Ah, okay. That's what it means to create a blockage to stop the flow. Mm -hmm. Resistance? Resistance, denial, not liking it, whatever you want to call it. So, what can we do instead? The thing that most people fear, trust. Even us, we seek knowledge. Why do we seek knowledge? Because without knowledge, there is the unknown. The unknown creates fear. Mm. But we don't have emotion. We do not fear. But it's a longing because there are unknowns. You have emotions, and you create fear from the unknowns. Mm. Trust is required when there is an unknown. So let's say when one is trusting in the higher self or the divine self and just moving along with life how would that serve them better first of all you don't need to trust in your higher self mm -hmm. you can trust that everything is your higher self when you say higher self it automatically makes you think of you. You don't see the other person as being a higher self of you. Okay. You don't see the situation as being the higher self of you. Therefore, it's easier to trust yourself, but then when something else comes into your life, it's hard to trust okay. because you do not see them as your higher self. So we have to look at the bigger picture here. In the bigger picture, the oneness, the higher self, if you think of it as God, then it's easier to see everything as your higher self yeah. and trust. Mm -hmm. 